this model could actually be instrumental in, in that recreation. In fact, Professor, do you mind saying, is there much of um, a coherent international will to reconstruct Palmyra? Has that been discussed? I know that many times when a site is destroyed, yes. it's simply considered, that's it, that's the end. Right, now, well, you know, now you're entering into the infinite, huh. uh, into the realm of the infinite arguments of the majors. And the infinite bureaucracy. Uh, yes. Right. But let me, let me just put a, put, put a few uh, pointers here. So sure. over time, 50 or 100 years ago is no longer acceptable. And I can tell you the actual, if, if Palmyra is ever, let's say, or that arch, if you will, is ever, uh, quote unquote, reconstructed, it will certainly not look anything like what it looked before because the oh. ethics that go into the reconstruction that were used then in the 50s and 60s and even in the 70s would not be acceptable today. So you, you would have to, one of the, one of one key aspect, for example, is the, is the to, to maintain, if you will, an, an, an honest uh, representation and also ensure that the actual history that, uh, of, of the, of the uh, monument or of the artifact or of the, of the item that you're trying to depict here is also uh, incorporated and, and, and reflected. So the most recent damage to the site would somehow have to also be sort of I included see. and shown. Hmm. And to try and blend everything in to make it look as if it was all real or original, it would be completely unacceptable. So that's one aspect of the, gotcha. uh, of the reconstruction, if you will. Another aspect, and that's really going to the heart of the current ongoing events in Syria, is should we be attempting, for example, to uh, maybe uh, reconstruct or, or do that kind of work when the conflict is not over yet and may not be over for, for maybe, mm. uh, you know, 10, 20, 30 years to come? And most people I know, and I would be one of those people, would say, no, this is not appropriate. Um, sure. What we must do is to essentially preserve and protect what we have and not really be thinking about any work of reconstruction, in particular because of the politicizing effect of this. So you have, uh, for example, one side, the regime side in this case, trying to essentially, um, if you will, legitimize itself, demonstrate mm -hmm. that it's won, this is its victory. And one of the ways it does that is by insisting that everything's fine, I'm done, I'm, I've won, so now I want to sort of uh, sh showcase this by, undertaking some massive reconstruction project like this 